honestly, t- sort of building off that point, I think you um, you raise a good in, like a good idea. Like I think the during sort of sex education, even the, in the more developed countries, you know, there's there's still a lot of stigma and like embarrassment sort of surrounding that, especially from the children's side. And I think a lot of the schools and a lot of the education systems don't have um, well like fortified education educational paths to sort of deliver the knowledge that they need so i think maybe it could be part of sex education and i think in a in, as, as a general rule it probably sh- it, it needs to be improved because you know think back to when we had sex education you know the amount that they sort of beat around the bush or didn't tell us or it was delivered poorly and then there's a there's a whole load of stuff which women aren't told like there's like there's a lot of, if you think back like there was a lot more stuff about how um boys and guys deal with puberty and stuff like that that was like the basis of sex education there wasn't a lot of stuff surrounding the more female side and i think there's also there could also be like a you know they could have another unit where they talk about how you know the how having a child affects the world as a whole you could say you know like just sort of raising awareness to it because exactly. it, 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 it's like if, if you put it into their heads at that sort of age then at least they will have some sort of knowledge gained by the time they come out of school and they you know that that would hit them at the right time so that if they came out of school they would be perhaps and, and they're like just they're getting into that age where they'd be able to or possibly would have like a baby whether intentional or not you'd hope that that knowledge would be easy to access for them because it's pretty recent yeah exactly that's just all about having that availability up to that knowledge but also yeah you bring a good point of just the general awareness of the ethical considerations of having a child not just for you but for the actual world the climate that we're currently in you know gotta weigh it up rather than just is it good for me in my life is it actually good for the world right now because That's the thing is, yeah. most people just see it subject. Sorry, I don't want to cut you off. Continue. No, no, that was that was it. Was it? I was just gonna say, like, I don't. I just think that people. It is so easy to think subjectively in in you know more things, more things, uh, more scenarios than just this, right? But I think as sort of like a prospective parent, you'd probably be thinking like, you know, you don't have these thoughts of like, oh, what impact do I have on the world? What impact will this child have on other people? It's more sort of like. Do I want a baby? And it's really easy to sort of distance yourself and think it's that whole sort of mindset of uh, if everyone else is, is doing it, then I might as well. Do you know what I mean? Like instead yeah. of being the one person that makes the change, you're the person that's, that decides not to because everyone else isn't. Like you don't want to be the outlier. You want to sort of conform or just take the easy choice. Yep. So I think a lot, of, and I'm not not like sort of, trying to sound like i'm on a high horse at all like that's a that's something that applies to a lot of different concepts and a lot of them i would have fallen on the lazier side of that sort of argument as well Mm. it's difficult but i think that's just something that would happen naturally like it's so easy to do uh disassociate yourself from sort of the more large the larger picture as it were i suppose yeah because you just get so caught up in your own bubble so they don't even think about, you know, the the repercussions into the actual whole, you know, taking into consideration the whole world rather than just themselves, yeah. like you said. 